So, proceed po tayo sa nervous system. Okay, when we say nervous system kasi, it's all about our brain. So, I don't know why, why these two topic ay pinagsama nila, but kailangan namin tong i-discuss. So, the nervous system is all about, and uh, it is the control center, control center in our body, our mind, our brain, and etc. So, do you ever wonder how you could walk on a beam without uh, losing your balance? Okay. Iyon po yan yung, ano, kapag naglalakad ka daw, mer- na-experience mo ba daw yung nawawalan ka ng balance, eh. And then, why it is that when you touch something hot, you will pull out your hand away even before you even think of it. Okay, kapag uh, may nahawakan kang bagay, tapos mainit pala yun, hindi mo alam na mainit, pero yung mismong uh, receptors and <laughs> receptors, charot, yung sa ating skin, papunta sa ating brain, so napaka grabe yung reaction nun, and uh, very is a blink on an eye alam na alam na ni brain ang pulot dulo bakit natin nilayo natin yung ating kamay from that particular hot object and then so you will find the answers to this question as you read this lesson so all of that is came from our uh, very important or vital system it's our nervous system so ito yung pinaka for me lang ha, is very uh, critical uh, topic siya. Kasi madami siyang subtopic. And, pero sa, sa atin lang lesson na to is uh, mag-ano lang tayo ng basic lang. Basic parts lang. Hindi na tayo go deeper. Kasi grade 6 pa naman kayo. Kasi uh, kung mag-go deeper tayo, sobrang dami pa niyang ano, yung mga axon, neurons, and everything. So, Here, the living things have systems that control, regulate, and coordinate body processes. So, lahat ng mga buhay na merong mga systems, siya yung nagko-control, yung, bad, yung utak natin. Yung utak ang nagko-control sa lahat. Okay, when the, our brain controls our heart, our lungs, our kidneys, our stomach, our everything, everything in our system, siya yung ang uh, body controller. Okay. So, kung ang iutos ni brain na, oh, uy, heart, mag, mag-stop ka na ng, ano, mag-beat. So, sorry. So, kailangan talagang sundin talaga ni heart yung sinuno, uh, yung utos ni brain. Charot. So, controller siya, nag-regulate and coordinate our any other body of systems. So, in this lesson, you will explore how they Nervous system controls, regulates, coordinates most of the body function. So, ito po yung sinasabi ko, very critical, very crucial na topic ay ang nervous system. Lahat po ng bagay ay, kaya nga sabi natin kung dito tayo sa computer, ang pinaka uh, motherboard <laughs> controller, uh, yan. So, yun po. So, the nervous system and its function. Ano ang trabaho ng nervous system? So the nerve what is the nervous system? So the nervous system is the control unit of the body. Kung sa computer meron siyang controller, meron din siya sa ating body. Si nervous system po ang pakana noon. Siya siya po yung responsible for the con- for that control. So its function, ang trabaho niya is to integrate and coordinate bodily activities. So siya po lahat, sabi niya Uh, pag sinabi ni brain na okay, matulog ka lang all whole day. So, matutulog ka talaga. Pag ang pag practice mo or may mindset mo na ito, gagawin mo today, lahat po yan, it comes from our um, our body, our brain. Sorry ha, na, na-distract ko. So, now, so, it coordinates the activities and communicates with the sense organs and the other body system through the wire like nerve cells so or the neuron so ito ni yung sinasabi ko kanina um lahat ng mga uh, bodily activities natin ay nagko-communicate noon ang yung sense organs uh, yung tinatawag nating neurons 
So, it transmit lahat po ng messages passing through spinal cord to the brain and back to the nerve cells or neurons for the interpretation of the senses. So, we have five... Where are you? There we are. We have uh, body sense uh, organs. Meron tayong mga iba-ibang sense na na. Sense of touch, sense of touch, gana, 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 hearing and everything. Sense of touch... Seeing, smelling, ganon ganon. Basta mga sense of organ siya. Okay. Ang neurons, siya yung nagtra-transmit. Kung sa ating dito yung matatransmit yung mga cell site and uh, satellite. Pero sa atin naman, yung brains natin, meron din siyang ganon. Then, ang tawag po dun ay neurons. Siya yung nagpapadala ng mga mensahe papunta sa ating spinal cord, papunta sa brain, tapos babalik na naman siya sa neurons para mag-interpret mag-interpret siya ng uh, inter- mag-interpret siya ng ano uh, doon sa message. For example, ah uh, pag hawak mo ng isang bagay tapos mainit at tatakbo, magte-transmit pa siya. Bigyan sa spinal cord papunta sa brain, tapos ang brain magsasabi na, "Uy, mainit." Tapos babalik na naman siya sa nerve cells niya tapos nag-interpret siya, "Wow, nasasaktan ka na." Or nainitan ka na. So 'yun po 'yon. Ito po yung gamit ni nervous system sa ating katawan. For example, nadapa, mga ganun. Sobrang bilis niya, sobrang bilis niya yung mga kaya mag- Ay, nasaktan ka na. Pero pagkapag ang tao ay sobrang delay naman siya, yung, yung sinasabi nating loading, delayed, ganun, ganun, na uh, kinurot natin, tapos sobrang tag- tagal pa niya naramdaman yung sakit, may something na po yun sa kanyang nervous system. Dapat, pag kinurot ka, nag-ouch ka, yun, normal yun. Pero pag kinurot ka, tapos hindi ka nag-ouch, ah, may something na dun. Okay? So, proceed. The nervous system and its function, bakit umulit ta? Okay, meron uh, type of error dito na ito, umulit siya. So, never mind na lang nito ha. Basta, never mind na lang yan. Umulit siya, di ba? Interpretation senses, ganun. So, dito tayo. Proceed na tayo sa... The brain is an amazing organ that performs different functions such as processing memory. Okay, so sa mga cellphone natin, meron memory. Sa computer, meron memory. So, ang brain natin, siya po yung memory sa ating body. So, a judgment, reasoning, so lahat yan dadaan sa ating brain. And it controls body movement. For example, ayan, suntokin mo, sumuntok ka talaga. Then, so sabihin mo, ah, hindi ko inaisip, nakalimutan ko yung ganyan. No, hindi ako naniniwala sa mga ganun. So, lahat po yan ay dadaan sa ating brain. Dapat, pangatawanan mo. So, it controls body movements, emotion, feelings, vital signs of life, such as breathing. The brain has three. Okay, so ito na. So, emotion mo. Uh, happy ka. Sobrang happy. And then, pag sad ka, sad, lonely, lahat. If you want to cry, cry. Ganon, everything. Your feelings mo, and everything. Lahat, pati hininga. Inuutos yan ng ating nervous system. So, yung brain natin, there are three main parts. Meron tatlong main parts ang ating brain. The first is cerebrum. The second is cerebellum. And the third is are the brain stem or the medulla oblongata. So, what uh, what are the three parts again? So, guys, you have to comment your three parts of the brain. So, the cerebrum, cerebellum, or the brain stem or the main medulla oblongata. At mga pati na nga na ba Sorry. So, another organ in the nervous system is the spinal cord. So, yung spinal cord, Diba yung sa musculoskeletal system natin na tackle natin to kasi nasa loob siya, siya yung pinatektahan ng ating mga vertebrae, ng ating spinal column, yung spinal cord. So, ang spinal cord, siya yung mga wire, kung sa ano pa yung mga negative, positive wire, may mga electrolytes, meron po siyang ganyan. So, siya, meron po siyang uh, kuryente, siya yung mga nag, ano, mga electricity, mga ganun. Meron po si spinal cord noon. So, it accord like a material inside the backbone. It bridges impulse between the brain and the body. So, siya yung nag-impulse dun from, 
from our uh, from our brain to the body siya yung nag uh, maniobra doon siya po yung responsible put doon so this means all the signals o ito yung sinasabi ko meron siya nagdala po siya ng signal hindi lang yung signal sa satellite through our TV and everything our cell phone or cell site so sa brain po natin itong spinal cord na to siya yung nagdadala ng signals throughout our body so that go to and from the brain is passed through the spinal cord and deliver it to the right muscles and senses so eh, kaya sobrang uh, haba yung spinal cord natin kapag inutos na ni brain na ayan nasasakta na putol or something yung ganyan ganyan so dadaan lahat dyan sa spinal cord tapos siya yung nag-interpret ng sense or may naamoy kang something may 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 nakita kang something and ganun po lahat po lahat ng mga senses ay uh, na tawag nito nakipag uh, coordinate siya nakipag uh, participate siya sa lahat ng sa ating brain activities so neurons ito yung neurons uh, part siya ng ating brain So, neurons is also another organ in the nervous system. It is a wire like organ that is found all over our body. So, ito yung neurons. So, ito yung sinasabi kong sarili kong mayroong uh, mga electro, electric wires sa ating nakikita, mga ganun-ganun. Dito din sa ating body may ganun. Ang tawag yun ay neurons. So, its main function is to deliver messages within the nervous system and between other body system. So, siya po yung naghahatid ng mga mensahe from the nervous system through the other interconnected siya through our body system. Lahat ng body system na meron tayo, uh, siya yung naghahatid ng mga mensahe doon sa mga mga system na yun. Ang, siya, ang neurons is the responsible for that. So, it is divided into three parts. So, ang neurons uh, in your activity Uh, kailangan mo ng clay tapos may, sina- uh, may ipiprint akong picture gagayahin nyo yun uh, there are three colors na kailangan nyo sa activity gagawa kayo ng neurons so ang neurons there are three parts kung ang brains ay may three parts din yung cerebrum, cerebellum, mendula, ulogata so ang neurons din ay mayroong three parts the axon, cell body and the dendrites para siyang wire wire din pag nakita nyo yun, yun po yung gagawin nyo. Malalaman nyo kung ito si axon, ito si cell body, ito si dendrites. Si dendrites yun yung mga galamay, something ganun. So, neurons can be classified based on the direction in which they send information. Okay, kung tayo dito sa cellphone natin, eh, nagsasend tayo ng messages or um, information from one person to another, so ito rin si neurons, siya po yung responsible for that and to siya yung parang ano siya tismosa <laughs> naghahatid ng mga information throughout our system so this can be sensory neurons motor neurons and enter neurons okay when we say sensory neurons siya yung responsible for our senses when we say motor neurons siya, siya yung po yung responsible in our activities human activities in our body movements something ganon so yun po yun uh, if you have any question Don't hesitate to comment your question in our comment section or PM. <laughs> PM or ano pa, text me. I have my number in my in our weekly home learning plan. Ako tinong ano po? So, proceed po. So, in, in your learning test 1, madali lang po. Multiple choice. So, um, madali lang. <laughs> Multiple choice. Okay, meron po siyang 1 to 5. In your learning test 2, uh, determine if each sentence is correct or incorrect. Write C on the line if it is correct. C. And if it is incorrect, encircle the words. Encircle, bilugan. Kaso, hindi nyo siya mabibilugan sa inyong activity sheets, kopyahin nyo bago mo siyang bilugan. And then yung learning task 3 nyo is answer the question by writing true or false. It is a false. Replace the underlined word with the correct word to then make the statement correct. So, in short, copy-paste din. Copy-paste! Copy and answer. 
And learning test for number the sentence from 1 to 5. Ito yung pagkasunod-sunod. Kung si number 1, number 1 talaga. Hindi na kailangan si number 1 pupunta siya sa number 2. Hindi pwedeng ganun. So, iyon na po. Papunta na tayo sa part 3 nito, ang our respiratory system. Okay, so guys, uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification bell if you have if you're new in my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and say hi to me. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye. God bless.